قل هو الله احد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد لم يكن له كفوا احد صدق الله العظيم Ladies and gentlemen assalamu alaikum may i extend to you a very warm welcome to the launch of snowbird institute a new think tank in islamabad you might be wondering what is snowbird institute why is it called that way to kir sir shukriya sir and how i think we would discuss all these aspects very shortly there is a brochure before you which has some basic details you can also visit our site uh, sanobarinstitute.com and get more details this is a, an independent institute non partisan not affiliated to any political party or ideological movement we the gentlemen sitting in front of you are the four founding directors of this institute it's a self funded institute and we are registering it with the securities and exchange commission of pakistan secp i want to introduce my colleagues to you admiral hasham khan hasham bin siddiq has been in pakistan navy and rose to the rank of vice chief of naval staff thereafter he went as ambassador of pakistan to saudi arabia he also served as a head of a think tank uh, ipri for a while and then lately he has been the managing director of bahria foundation other our other colleague uh, mr khalid bashir he is an engineer an entrepreneur he runs a very successful company and he has been a member of uh, pakistan engineering council and has contributed to the standardizations of uh, engineering standards and we are very happy that we'll have a corporate site represented on on this board of directors then on my right is uh, dr kamar chima who uh, worked uh, for a while in namal university but now he is focusing his energies on vlogs and uh, in fact he is a very very popular vlogger uh, if you sign up to his name uh, within the youtube alone he has 139 subscribers and he is always on top of information and whatever he publishes uh, uh, in the digital media is uh, is a good source of information for all let me also recognize uh, uh, you all for coming over there are two parts of this uh, session uh, first we'll introduce to you what snowbird institute is then we'll talk about the role of think tanks so most of you are associated in one way or the other with the think tank community <coughs> I want to recognize our guest of honor, Mumtaz Zohra Bloch, ambassador, uh, who is currently serving as a, a spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Thank you so much for uh, coming. Uh, we are also uh, grateful to you, Ambassador Nagmana, uh, for being with us. Um, we are also happy uh, to have a number of other colleagues, Ambassador Kiani, Janab. Masood Khalid Saab our uh, longest serving ambassador to uh, China and then we have Naim Salik Saab he's heading uh, uh, strategic vision institute ambassador Rizwan uh, he is the secretary general of ICWA uh, for those of you who don't know ICWA it's Islamabad Council for World Affairs and uh, on his right is the chairman of uh, ICWA as well as IWSI uh, an institute Uh, uh, where I also happened to serve, and I was predecessor of Ambassador Suhail Mahmood, who is there now and doing a good job. And then we have Ambassador uh, <coughs> Abrar Hussain. He is the vice chairman of Institute of Policy Study Policy Studies. Uh, and then we have Saif Malik Saab. Uh, he is now with the Army Institute of Military History, but before that he was with me in ISSI. 
and you all know Akhil Nadeem. He was a prolific writer for independent Urdu, right? But he is not uh, he's not writing anymore, and we are encouraging him to do that. Uh, Ali Tokir Sheikh, uh, a big name. Uh, he writes regularly for Dawn newspapers, a, a great environmentalist, climate change, water issues, uh, all the thing that, things that touch Pakistan's uh, life. Malik Qasim, uh, arms control expert in ISSI, Nakash, uh, a great helping hand. Dr. Talat Shabir, our China expert in uh, China-Pakistan Study Center, Amina Khan, uh, on, you know, expert on Afghan affairs, heading the Kemia Center within the ISSI. And uh, Air Commodore Adil Sultan, Dr. Adil Sultan, I would say, Dean in the Air University, um, Brigadier Faisal uh, from the Intelligence Institute, uh, uh, and then Air Marshal uh, Arain Saab, Ishfaq Arain, he is uh, representing CAS, you're still with CAS, right? Air Forces Institute. Khurshid Anwar Saab is an entrepreneur and he traveled especially from Lahore for this very session and we are really grateful to him, a great entrepreneur. Uh, then we have Mr. Imran Khalid Saab from WWF. Tokir Saab is a strategic analyst and security analyst but also a pilot and, and many other things. He's been associated with the think tank community. Raza, thank you, good to have you, everybody knows you. Uh, you need no introduction. And Admiral Saab, thank you very much, Ahmed Saeed Saab, uh, he's heading NEMA uh, these days. So we are uh, very grateful to you uh, for coming over. Let me um, uh, indicate to you uh, the what and, and why part. The Snowbird Institute, um, uh, as I indicated to you, is a voice in the private sector. Many of the think tanks in Pakistan are affiliated with the government, uh, some with the donor community, the others are uh, in the universities. But this will be a purely private sector think tank raising independent voice from civil society, from corporate Pakistan, and also Pakistani diaspora. There are four areas we want to work on. Geopolitics, geoeconomics, governance, and environment. Let me also uh, set a, the context, the global context. You all have seen that in the world, there is a University of Pennsylvania ka hai, jo, uh, global go-to think tank रिपोर्ट्स शाया करता है हर साल और उन्होंने ये एस्टीमेट किया है कि 11,000 से ज़्यादा थिंक टैंक्स पाकिस्तान दुनिया भर में हैं एंड मोर देन हाफ ऑफ़ विच आर इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका एंड यूरोप एशिया में भी यू नो द ट्रेंड इज़ कैचिंग अप एंड यू नाउ सी मेनी थिंक टैंक्स इमर्जिंग इन चाइना and in Pakistan also you must have seen a rapid rise in the number of think tanks, mostly in Islamabad, but also in many universities of Pakistan. The inspiration that we get for choosing this particular name and the mission comes from none other than our national poet, Alama Iqbal. Alama Iqbal ko snowbar ka jo drakht hai, bhoot bhata tha. वो कहते थे ये वो दरख्त है जो जैसे भी उगे और सीधा हो के ये ऊपर जाता है इट सीक्स लाइट वाइल इट्स रूट्स आर फर्मली एम्बेडेड इन दी सॉइल तो वो कहते हैं कि सोनोबर बाग में आज़ाद भी है पाबा गिल भी है उसके पाँव मिट्टी में हैं इन्हीं पाबंदियों में हासिल आज़ादी को तू कर ले ये तो British time mein unhoon ne apne logon ko ye mashwara diya tha, mein samajh toh, this also reflects the philosophy that we in the Snowbar Institute want to follow. We think that our work should be creative, out of box, but in sync with the ground realities. Hum usse koi bahir ja ke nahi karna chaate, we want to propose solutions, doable, tangible solutions, 
लेकिन हम उस दायरे के अंदर रहना चाहते हैं ताकि पाकिस्तान के लिए हम एक कोई आवाज़ ज़रूर उठाएं। आवाज़ की अहमियत पर मैं फिर बात करूंगा लेकिन एक जो अक्सर कहा जाता है यहाँ पे कि थिंक टैंक्स की अच्छा चले एक और आ गया क्या हुआ क्या मिलेगा जो गवर्नमेंट के लोग हैं वो तो फायर फाइटिंग में मसरूफ़ हैं या अपने इतने मसाइल में उलझे हुए हैं कि उनको आप बोल भी लें तो क्या फ़र्क पड़ता है तो मैं आपको ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि हमारी फ़िलासफ़ी उस हकायत से मनसूब है जो आपने सुनी होगी कि एक जंगल में आग लगी तो एक चिड़िया अपनी छोटी सी चोंच में थोड़ा सा पानी लेकर जा रही थी तो बंदर ने उसको कहा कि आपका ये पानी तो आग नहीं बुझा सकता तो उसने कहा कि नहीं मुझे भी इस बात का पता है लेकिन मैं उनमें शामिल होना चाहती हूँ जो आग बुझाने वाले हैं तो थिंक टैंक्स का भी काम ये है ये नहीं कि आपने कोई मरकलस सलूशन दे देना और एकदम से बाग व बहार हो जाएगा लेकिन हमने अपने आइडियाज़ जो हैं वो देने हैं अपनी आवाज़ हमें उठानी है जो दूसरा अभी हमारा सेशन आएगा उसके अंदर हम ये फ्लोर खोलेंगे कि थिंक टैंक्स क्या किरदार अदा कर सकते हैं और किस तरह अपने वतन अजीज़ की खिदमत कर सकते हैं